My name is Jack Lavin. I'm President and CEO of the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce. The Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce is a membership organization. We have uh, over a thousand members um, and we work with companies to help them make connections to grow their business, uh, to be the voice of business when we're advocating whether it's at the Chicago City Council, State Legislature, or Cook County to make sure the voice of business is being heard. And then we provide thought leadership programs to uh, educate our companies and members about uh, issues that they need to deal with in business. The biggest challenge that I've ever faced in my current role is really constantly innovating. I mean, the world is changing so quickly, and for the Chicagoland Chamber of Commerce, we constantly we have to be relevant to our members. We have to constantly be looking at what is happening in the business community. How can we help grow the economy? How can we help? put a, a, an environment for the Chicagoland economy to grow. So we constantly have to be listening to our members, talking to our members. We have to reimagine and reshape our programs every day to make sure they're meeting the needs of our members, but also looking at the environment, working with the city council or the state legislature to say, how can we make sure this is a more friendly business environment? So to, to constantly be relevant, we have to constantly reimagine, reshape our programs listen to what our members want and be sure we're out there as the voice of business uh, when we're talking to the state legislators, the governor, the mayor, um, to do that to make sure that we are constantly being that voice of business to help us grow. One of the challenges or the biggest challenges I've ever faced in many of the jobs I've been is coming into an organization that uh, has been leaderless or needs new direction or is floundering. I did that when I took over the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity. We needed to reorganize, we needed to come in. But in order to reorganize, you need to listen to all the stakeholders and what's going on. Same was true when uh, Governor Quinn, I, as Chief of Staff to Governor Quinn after uh, the previous governor left uh, through impeachment, uh, we had to listen to folks. What do we need to do? And we listened and we passed the largest capital bill in the history of Illinois. Uh, we were right in the Great Recession, so we had to have the capital bill. We had to take President Obama's recovery efforts and work those into the state. But how are we going to maximize the economic impact of that? The tollway modernization, a 12 billion program. How can we maximize uh, the investment that's made so we can create the most jobs and economic opportunity for people? What differentiates our culture from our competitors? We are, we are constantly trying to listen to our members uh, give them the, the, the greatest value proposition that we can, we can, and really to make sure that we're out there advocating for them every day. Be the voice of business. We have a lot of changes in Chicagoland. We have a new governor, a new mayor, a new city council. Lots of changes are happening. So we need to constantly be out there listening to people, talking to people, and our culture has to be that we're welcoming, we want to hear your ideas, and then we want to take those ideas and give the best value we can to our members. Now that could be an advocacy and fighting to be the voice of business. We are the largest independent voice for business in Chicagoland, um, and we fight for our businesses every day. But we're also a thought leader trying to give our businesses more information on what's happening. Uh, potential tax law changes. Right now we're dealing with a change uh, that the City Council is proposing on how you schedule your workers, um, your hourly workers. So we need to be constantly on the front line of that to make sure that our businesses understand what's happening and what changes are coming. And then of course we want to make sure our businesses all can make connections. Uh, the bottom line, businesses want to grow, they want to add business, add revenue, and we want to help them make those connections so they can grow their business.